Many of you may find yourself asking, why do the narcissistic gang stalkers hate us so much? Have you ever found yourself asking that question? I know in times past, I have asked myself that question over and over again. I've asked myself, what is it that I did? What did I do wrong? What did I say wrong? Um, did I offend them? You know, what is it that I could have done to make this person or these people hate me so much? Well, first of all, my friend, in order to walk in your freedom, the first thing I want to let you know is that you have to stop worrying about who likes you, who dislikes you, who hates you, who loves you, what did you do wrong? Did you offend them? And you just have to learn how to walk in being your true self. Freedom and deliverance from the claws of narcissistic gang stalkers will come to you when you get to a point where you don't care what people think about you. You don't worry yourself about who likes you and who doesn't and what did you do? What did you say? Did you give them a wrong look? Did they take something, um, you know, did they misconstrue something that you said? Was there a miscommunication, a misunderstanding? You know, did you offend? Those are all questions you need to stop asking yourself. Because the thing is, when it comes to narcissistic gang stalkers, they are hateful people anyway. They have a lot of hate in their heart. Their hearts are very darkened. They can't stand themselves. And so how do you expect them to be able to love you? They secretly hate everybody. And it's without a cause. And they are determined to misunderstand you, become offended, or misconstrue anything that you have to say. You can explain it 20 times, 20 different ways. You can try to give clarity one way, up the wall, down the wall, sideways and back. And they will still find a reason to misunderstand you and become offended by something that you said. Another reason that narcissistic gang stalkers hate you is not just because they hate themselves. It's not only that, and it's not just because they're hateful people, but they hate you because you are a genuine person and that you have a good heart. You have love in your heart and you're able to give and receive love. And this is something that hateful narcissistic gang stalkers, this is something that they are unable to do. They know how to fiend or fake love. But is it real? No. It's a facade. It's a mask. It's all smoke and mirrors. And the best thing that you can do when you find out that you have a secret hater in your midst or you have a Judas in your midst is to cut the cord. Let them go. Let them go. Let them dislike, hate, whatever they want to feel about you. Let them go. But let them go do it somewhere else. Not around you. Not in your presence where you have to question or you have to, you know, uh, keep your eye on them. That's just such a waste of mental energy. It is. It's a waste of mental energy when you got to always focus on, well, how's this person feeling? Did I make them feel okay? Did I say something wrong? When you got to keep going through that with somebody and wonder why they dislike you, because a lot of times it's for no reason. There is nothing that you could have done or said that would make a narcissistic gang stalker, a hateful narcissistic gang stalker, love you or hate you more or less. It's just something that's in them. Their hearts are darkened. It's filled with hate. And that's, that's all there is to it. 
these people their hearts are darkened and there is nothing that you can do about it the only person that can deliver a hateful narcissistic gang stalker is the lord jesus christ and i'm here to tell you they really need to a come to jesus moment so there's nothing that you can do and the only thing that uh, another thing that i can share with you is pray Pray that God will reveal your Judases, your haters that's in your that's in your community. And then pray when they're revealed that they be removed from your presence. The further they are away from you, the better your life will be. It will be less headaches and less stress. And so the last and final reason that I want to give you the reason why narcissistic gang stalkers hate you is because they hate you because of the people that love you. They don't want anybody to love you. If it was left up to them, you wouldn't have a family member. You wouldn't have a friend. You wouldn't have anybody in your corner. You would be all alone, isolated somewhere on an island. Or you would be too fearful to venture out around people because you're going to always worry about what is it that you're doing wrong? What is wrong with me? That's how they want you to feel day after day. What's wrong with me? What did I do wrong? Or nobody likes me or I have no friends. That's what they want you thinking about and ruminating about 24-7. And when that doesn't happen, because you know what? The narcissistic gang stalkers, they have spread so many lies and rumors that they expect it to stick to you and to totally destroy you. They want your family to hate you. They want your children to hate you. They want anybody that loves you. They want them to hate you as much as they do. And when that doesn't happen, that gets on their nerves. If you want to know if you have a secret hater or a Judas in your midst, take a look at the expression on their faces when the people that they've lied and spread it rumors that should have destroyed you and stuck to you, when they believe or when they believe that they've totally destroyed you and pulled everybody away, all of your allies, anybody that truly loves you, when they think that they've destroyed and severed that relationship, but then when they come around, because they always come back to see if what they've done is working. And when they, when they see that those people still genuinely love you and care about you, watch the expressions on their face. It's a cringe moment for them. You can see them giving you the evil eye. Because they don't want anybody to love you. They want you to appear unworthy and unlovable. They want people to hate you as much as they do. And so they think that the hate they give would destroy you. But in return, it ends up destroying them. So let these people go. Let them go. Don't even worry yourself about how they feel if they never talk to you again. Good riddance.